हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन रेविट आर्किटेक्चर 2024 फॉर बिगिनर साइम आर्किटेक्ट सोनू राय फ्रॉम ग्लैड स्टूडियो एंड इन दिस टुडे वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट रैम्स इन रेविट यूजिंग रेविट 2024 सो इफ यू विल गो हियर इन आर्किटेक्चर हियर एंड यू कैन सी इन सर्कुलेशन रैम्प हियर एंड इन द लास्ट क्लास आई डिस्कस अबाउट रेलिंग सो यू कैन रिफर माई प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल and this is the ramp and if you look at the definition of ramp it adds a ramp to the building model so suppose if you want to create a ramp you can use this tool so i am going to click on to this ramp and after this you can see this draw uh, panel here these are the draw tools here so you can use this line and center and arc to draw your ramps and you can see here just like stairs here you can run your ramp you can define boundaries and you can uh, make risers also in the ramp so suppose i am going to create a ramp here so i am going to select on ramp 1 here and this is the default here so you can use this line tool to draw your ramp and you can see here in the properties this is the ramp 1 and you can see here constraints is the base level level 1 and uh, this one is top level level 2 so what does that mean so that means where you want to create your ramp from which level to which level so this one is level 1 and uh, you can take this top level as a level 2 so suppose this is a ground floor and this is the first floor so you can use this to create a ramp from ground floor to the first floor so how much you want offset from ground floor so by default it's 0 feet 0 inches if you think it should be a uh, little above your ground floor you can give that distance here like 1 feet 6 inches or something and then top level also you can give some offset if it is just above any level here so now you can see here and you can see here the dimensions here width of default ramp is 3 feet in revit so you can use this settings we can change in later here so suppose i am going to start with level 1 to level 2 and now i am going to use this line tool and this run i am going to draw a ramp here so i with the left mouse click i will click once in my draw panel and you can see here the gray line here text here in the ramp you can see zero zero inch of inclined ramp created 120 feet remaining so uh, you are required to draw a 120 feet ramp to go to level 2 but this will be sort here i am going to uh, just you can take your mouse far from this uh, ramp here ramp length you can see this is a 30 feet by default and i am going to click outside of this ramp and you can see 30 feet ramp length is created but you can see this message here 30 feet of ramp is created 90 feet remaining you can see here 30 feet of inclined ramp created 90 feet remaining so if i am going to finish here you will get the warning here you can see here the ramp is not long enough to reach the top constant change the slope or increase the length of the ramp so we'll check in the 3d view here i'm going to my 3d view here you can see this is the ramp and this is not uh, up to the mark and if you'll go to this front view here you can see this is the level 1 and it is falling short to reach to level 2 because i have created ramp from level 1 to level 2 but this is falling short to reach this height so you are required to Uh, either change the length of the ramp or you can change the slope so first we'll learn how to change the length so i'm going to delete this first here i'm going to delete and now i'm going to again level 1 and i'm going to select ramp here again and now i'm going to use again run and this line tool here so i'm going to draw my ramp here zero inch of inclined ramp created 120 feet remaining so i'm going to just click outside of this ramp length of 30 feet and now i'm going to again draw my ramp uh, here so we'll draw a ramp here you can see here and you can take to any directions here so suppose i want to draw a ramp here and then i am going to draw a ramp here 
so you can see here 90 feet of inclined ramp created 30 feet remaining so you can see now you can see highlighted line overlap 120 feet of inclined ramp created 0 inch remaining so if you'll go to finish this you can see this ramp is created you can draw any shape here depending on your design so you can see we have reached to this height here from this ground floor to this first floor or you can say level 2 and you can see this much length is required to reach this height so either you can change the slope so now i am going to my level 1 here and now we'll go and check the slope here so suppose i am going to again select ramp and now i will use line tool and we'll go to edit type here and i'm going to create a duplicate and this one is ramp 3 and you can see here maximum incline length is 30 feet and maximum slope is 1 by x so this is 1 is to 12 uh, inch slope here so suppose this is 1 is to 12 but this is only 30 feet so for drawing 1 is to 12 we we are required to multiply this by 12 so 10 feet is multiplied by 12 so 120 feet so if you make 120 feet here so we you are not required to draw any zigzag shape you can simply click apply draw a ramp here so i am going to draw a ramp and you can see we can draw this much length and there is no any 30 feet here now you can use finish edit mode and this ramp, ramp is drawn here and also you can use to draw some shapes here depending on your design so likewise you can change the slope so we'll understand this in with the help of one example but before that i will change tell you some more settings you can go to edit type and you can change this thickness here this is three inches you can make it six inches you can change the thickness of uh, this ramp here so you can make it see and you can also select function whether you want for interior or exterior if you are using for exterior you can change this to exterior you can change the font size also and you can change the ramp material also you can go to by category click on this three dot and you can go to create a new material here you can change the material of the uh, ramp here so suppose i want any concrete material here so you can use a smooth precast structural you can click apply ok and click apply ok so now you can use this finish mode Stry stairs require boundary channel so i am going to draw a ramp here straight ramp and you can finish this and now we'll check in our 3d view so where is that ramp this one is our ramp we'll go to realistic mode so you can see this is our uh, new ramp here you can change see uh, the material is applied here you can change the railing here also if you want any glass panel here you can change this to glass panel just like a staircase so you can change this ramp material here and you can do some more uh, settings here so you can see here this uh, ramp material is okay but you can change this uh, ramp design here so suppose you you want a uh, full ramp till the ground floor in the slope so if you want to fill this space you can use this edit type and you can use this shape from thick to solid so you want to solid fill here so you can just click apply and all the ramps will be solid filled here so if you want for your parking or any basement you can use this solid fill so this will be a solid fill so likewise you can again select ramp and can go to edit type and you can change the uh, ramp material and this solid again you can make this to your thick ramp here so now this is a thick ramp and uh, you can also go to ramp here go to edit type and you can change the uh, material and 
here can change the width so suppose I want 10 feet width ramp here and I am going to my level 1 and I am going to use line tool to draw a ramp here and I am going to finish this we will go to 3d view and you can see this is the 10 feet width ramp so likewise you can use this ramp here and you can also draw some more ramps using this center end arc so you can define any center end arc and you can start drawing a ramp here and you can finish this and likewise you can draw ramp you can see in 3d view so you can use this design also if your ramp is curved so next you can use a uh, floor also for drawing uh, uh, ramp so you can just click on this floor and you can draw a floor here suppose i am using rectangular here and i am drawing a floor here and i am going to use this slope arrow and i am going to finish this so you can use this slope arrow to draw your floor here floor ramp so suppose you want the slope arrow to be little better so you can go to this edit boundary here you can go to level one and i'm going to select on this uh, slope arrow and you can change this height offset at tail and height offset at head so this one is zero feet zero inch and height offset as the tail is one feet so i'm going to make this as a six feet and i'm going to apply okay and we'll see in 3d view so you can see here this one is six feet here and again you can go to edit boundary and you can go to level one and you can select this and make this as a 10 feet click apply okay and you can see in 3d view this is 10 feet from the level one so you can use this also and you can again select this here and can go to your floor here so suppose i am going to draw a floor and this time i am going to draw a curve floor so i am going to use offset here and offset i am going to give this 10 feet and offset will be 10 feet and we will use this split command here to cut this floor here and I'm going to delete this floor and we'll use line tool again to now I'm going to finish this here and can see this modify sub element we'll use this in 3d view can see here this is our floor here i'm going to select this and i'm going to select this modify sub element and you can increase this slope here and this will be a like a ramp and you can see here this is uh, is just like a ramp so you can uh, use this example here so suppose this is a building and I want to draw a ramp here and the plinth level is a height of 2 feet 6 inches and by using this you will easily understand uh, your uh, slope here how to set slope for a ramp so I want to draw a ramp for this parking slope so this one is 2 feet this uh, from the road level this one is at 2 feet the ground level so for this I am going to my level 1 and I want to draw a ramp here so if you look at this elevation here you can see this is level 3 the road level and level 1 so there is a difference of 2 feet so I want to draw from level 3 to level 1 so I am going to use a ramp here so I am going to my level 1 and so base level I am going to select this as a level 3 and top level as a level 1 and i'm going to apply and i'm going to edit type here and i'm going to duplicate and i'm going to define this slope here so a total 
uh, plinth level is at a 2 feet and this slope is 12 so I am going to make this as 10 I want to draw 1 is to 10 slope and so my height will become here 20 feet 1 is to 10 so our total plinth level is at 2 feet so you are required to multiply by 2 so this one become 20 feet so total you are required to draw a 20 feet ramp here we can change the width so I am going to make this as a 12 feet ramp here and now I am going to apply and we will draw a ramp here So I'm going to finish this and we'll move this. So I'm going to just increase this here. So we'll just adjust this. So suppose this is our ramp and we'll see in 3D view. So you can see this ramp is drawn. So by using the same techniques and it is just accurate here, you can see here. So you can do some more settings here, you can make solid fill, you can make from thick to you can make solid. So now this is the method of setting a uh, ramp slope. So depending on your height, you can set the ramp slope. So I think this is enough for today's tutorial. In the next session, I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Bye bye.